as someone who is motivated by this webinar, if I'm going to apply and uh, submit my proposal to the ICMR, but if ICMR rejects my proposal, what is going to happen next? What will be the outcome? Sir? Yes. So, Venkatesh, I see that many of the students, uh, they feel that uh, if, uh, say for example, ICMR, uh, uh, their ICMR project gets selected, they feel very happy about it and uh, have the motivation to complete the project. But since the number of uh, studentships which are available for, let's say, medical uh, students is uh, only 1,200. And with the increasing interest, a lot many students are applying. So it's quite possible that many of them would uh, end up, uh, their projects end up would end up not uh, getting selected. Now, that does not mean that their project was not good enough or the topic was not novel or the methodology was not uh, good. So essentially what happens is that when the competition is so so high, uh, many uh, projects would eventually not end up being approved. Does not mean that you are not good enough. Many projects are really good enough and uh, uh, holds the value worth contributing a lot to science. So I would wish that uh, everyone uh, student who takes up projects and applies uh, to the ICMR STS continues the project irrespective of whether it gets up, uh, approved or not. It is not, I mean, first of all, I wish to clarify that uh, even if not selected, you are allowed to carry out the project further. Not only that, I would encourage everyone to continue with the projects because if, for example, uh, when you uh, write ICMR proposal, you would have spent a little amount of uh, your time, your resources, your guide would have talked to you uh, several times, would have guided, would have provided inputs and would have spent time. So if we do not pursue research further, uh, just because ICMR uh, could not approve your project, uh, uh, it, it would uh, not be appropriate. Uh, uh, so to respect the guide's time and your own time, your own commitment, you should be continuing. Um, not getting approval from ICMR would just mean that you will not be getting one certificate from ICMR and let's say 50,000 money. But then all the other benefits we which we have just now talked about continue. So there is no reason why should we should be stopping. So say for example, even if your project does not get approved by ICMR as part of STS, you still can complete it, uh, get it published, and then uh, get the, all the other benefits. So we should continue. Okay, sir. Thank you so much, sir.